Hey guys, my name is Logan Andor Frost and welcome back to Let It Die. Today I'm going to be telling you guys how to actually farm an insane amount of high level resources. Um, by that I mean mushrooms and everything like that. And these are good when you get around level 10, but as soon as you cross over to level 23, around there, you become very desperate for these. Um, especially when you get past, um, or right around level, I think it's 35 is when you unlock your next... Um, biter. I haven't gotten to that point because I'm I'm doing a let's play and I'm gonna try not to move too fast But it's weird because I've kind of just it's basically like just collecting a lot of supplies, but not moving forward So let me tell you how I've collected those supplies <laughs> um, Essentially again mushrooms are gonna be coming m massively in handy within the future um, Specifically mushrooms for me that are I think gonna be good cr across the board or mushrooms like slow time This slows time for 20 seconds if you do cook it. I spat so much anyways <laughs> um, Also these um, these are pretty easy to get though, but they're always nice nice to have also another really good one to have is mushrooms that make you go invisible Which I believe I have um right here as well as a lot more. <laughs> okay, so right here you're like alright What the hell dude you have like three or four that's not a lot at all Give it a minute. We'll talk about it, and you guys will see what what I'm dealing with. <laughs> it's not that no one else has come up with this, but it's just something that I feel like not a lot of people are using, and it's something that essentially makes every boss a lot easier, um, as well as a lot of the higher levels a lot easier as well. Um, again, one of the biggest things in this game is preparing, so if you've never been to a floor and you're under uh, leveled to a, to the degree in which you are a grade lower fighter, then that's a big problem, and that level can be sometimes extremely daunting onto you, um, and that happens right around level 23, and also level 20, uh, or 35, I think, or 30. <laughs> around there. Anyways, regardless, how do I get mushrooms and how do I get mushrooms without having to do any work? Because that's also something I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, I mentioned it a bunch in every other video, but one of the things I feel like people do not utilize is the completely overpowered nature that is... I got something stuck in my eye. What? Anyways, it's this. Expedition. So I'm going to open this up and I sent them out on for an hour run expedition. So it should be like, hey, they're back. Um, and yeah, we get all of those supplies. So you guys see all those little forks and knives? That is the amount of mushrooms and monsters I got. Now that is completely dependent on where you send your fighter um, in terms of level. So if you send your fighter to floor 1 to uh, to 11, he, you're going to be getting all of the gap in between those. If you send your fighters to floor 20, um, he's going to, or 21, sorry, he's going to be getting all the items that come with 24 and up. Or not all of them, but a lot of them. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. Everything is sectioned to a gap. So again, if you send your fighter to level 23, if you're able to get that far, um, you'll have access to slow time mushrooms as well as cloak mushrooms. And they're amazing. They're the things that can literally make you invincible to a boss. Unless they patch that. <laughs> but I think that's the case. Um, and even then, it's just a nice thing that I'm not having to do anything. I just got like seven uh, beasts and mushrooms. Now it is random what you get because you open them and you can randomly get something really good. But this is also a way you can get insane decals. Um, you can get... Get, um, golden mushrooms as well as bronze mushrooms and etc. Those are depending on the levels you're sending your fighters to. If you're trying to prepare to go higher up, go send them to the highest floor available, and that's how it works. Well, I'll show you guys expeditions in a minute, but as you guys can see, I sent almost um, well, just a lot of my fighters out on expeditions, and they all brought back tons and tons of resources, particularly monsters um, and uh, mushrooms, which again could be the thing that makes and breaks a boss fight. Um, like extremely easily. I've seen a person nuke a boss down um, with a with a normal character on the same grade that, that level is um, in 30 seconds uh, because that's how long the buffs to their gear lasts or their their buffs. <laughs> Anyways, regardless, um, one thing I will beg <laughs> you guys to do, um, and it's kind of like the bro dude mentality of the community, and everyone's been really cool about it. Um, but essentially, you do not get, from my knowledge, that much of a reward if you do kill your target. So expeditions are essentially assassination. Um, missions. Um, now, this is also a side effect. Um, all of the resources will be sent to your rewards box, and we'll see how many I've accumulated in a bit, um, but you cannot access that before, so the only road bump you're going to have to face is getting rid of the thousand thousands of items that are going to help you along your journey in Let It Die. And is this broken? I don't think so, because you have to buy fighters, and that's like the only iffy thing that you can do, but even then, if you send your people out on expeditions, they also bring you back money and a tiny bit of souls, and if you do kill your target, the only thing you do get is a little bit more of the, the souls, the blue material resource, whatever, uh, the currency, sorry. Uh, so, so yeah, you don't get a lot of a bonus for killing people, so the community is kind of 
from what I've garnered, most people, most of the time I get a hunter thrown at me, they have no armor, they have no weapons that can really knock the shit out of me. They usually just have their hands, and they're super easy to deal with. Um, and it's kind of just a way to constantly farm materials without having to throw at your fighter. But then again, you're also not going to be costing anyone death medals. Again, it's like the bro dude mentality of the community, which I really am falling in love with. Um, but um, essentially, that's ex expeditions. I will show it to you guys, but first, I have to clear out the insane amount of resources I currently have. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> um, I have quite a little bit. Also, this is another strat that you can use that I've kind of garnered. Sorry, it's the thing I'm using currently, which is essentially um, the more money you have in your bank and the more souls you have in your bank makes you a bigger target, which is not what anybody wants. So I've gotten the habit of whenever I get a massive sum of money, so for instance, this one, I got 10,000 of those, or sorry, yeah, 10,000 of those essence, or those souls, I call them souls, I'm sorry guys, uh, also this, same thing, 10,000 money, um, I will not cash that in until I'm ready to buy something with that money, like I need to buy back a fighter, or whatever have you, and I believe I got a crazier one here, but also I have 96 capacity, so you don't have to worry about um, over succeeding your capacity when actually sending, when getting resources in, uh, you cannot uh, get any more in, but you, you have to empty it at least down to 51, or sorry, uh, 49, in order to actually get anything back in your inventory, but still, this one, um, I got $41,000 stored away, um, and that's because I participated in the raids, if you're ever fading a raid, definitely participating in it, participate in it, even if you're not winning, you're still gonna get a lot of stuff out of it, even if you're just sending your fighters on expeditions with the rival raid people you're going up against, really good doing this, <laughs> really, really an underused thing, I think. Again, don't be a dick about it though, because oftentimes that will come back to bite you in your ass, because when you do actually successfully kill somebody, from my knowledge, you will get marked as a uh, as a person to revenge kill, essentially. It's like another tab within the expedition tab, where you can send people to kill people that kill, have killed you. Jesus, <laughs> words. Well, actually, this is what it looks like, by the way. I may not have any inventory space. But yeah, see, we just collect that. We luckily got a pill bug because I sent them um, on the lower floors because I wanted some pill bugs because they're excellent yoga things. Um, the good thing about this is is you can actually sell a lot of your like health items. So like those beetles also sell for a decent amount. Um, you can make a thousand if you just have two. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to make money as well. And it's just something you can do on the side. Um, again, I want to show you guys what the actual mechanic is, but let me come back. Um, and I, yeah, I'm getting a bunch of junk, and then what happens is my death bag's full. Uh, usually I do this with a collector character, but this character is already kind of full with good resources, so that's where I'm at <laughs> right now. Anyway, you just pop in here, sell, go to new, um, sell all the bullshit that you do not want, and you also make a fair bit of money this way as well. I don't want that. And again, these, you get a lot of these if you send them up to floor 20 and up, and uh, yeah, they sell for quite a little bit. You almost make $1,000 with each sold item. Pretty awesome. <laughs> um, anyways, and uh, sell a lot of those. Uh, yeah, I don't need a lot of those either. Uh, bah, 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 we don't need that. Uh, also, yeah, you do get weapons, so there's a chance to get actually high-level armor. Um, and you can actually... There's a certain um, mushroom earlier on. Uh, like, I think it's like level 27 you get access to it. Um, but it's a mushroom that uh, upgrades your entire armor. And if you send, like seven of your fighters out to do expeditions for only one hour, and each one of them is bringing back seven um, food items, you'll have a really high chance to get some rare items just because you're flipping the coins so much. Um, and again, this is a good way to farm mushrooms and to kill bosses that would otherwise, again, you stop time completely. That boss can barely do anything to you unless he has an insta-kill button, which in that case, just be aware of that being the thing. Um, and try to nuke him down, a bunch of things you could do. And again, it, mushrooms I think are the unsung hero in this game that nobody knows how to utilize them. I think that's how people handle the, the higher floors without having to just dump money into death metals. Uh, not that you shouldn't do that if you have spent... Uh, like me, 120 hours in the game. I'm gonna do it eventually. I'm just gonna buy death medals because, yeah, 120 hours. Yeah, <laughs> probably should get back to the designers in some way. Anyways, we'll be back. This is a lot. Also, um, when your fighters die, they do um drop one soul, so it's just pretty easy to collect. It's nothing like one one tiny soul is not gonna do anything for you, but it's the soul of your fighter. So you just grab that real quick, and it's just kind of a way I think to slow down this mechanic. But it's not that bad, especially if you have a collector class. You just grab all the shit you need, and peace out. Anyways, I'll meet you guys when we're sending our people out on expeditions. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, but by the way, the reason why I'm making so much money, like $5,000, uh, you'll usually be making around 2000 if you um, have a standard fighter. Uh, the reason why I'm having so much money here is because I'm sending out my luck character. My character is completely banked on luck, um, so when she runs out to go get me money, she brings a lot back. Um, she's the lucky star type fighter, which has a high luck stat, and that is why I've reached, or I've gotten a lot of good decals, because I'm able to buy that stew, and, yeah, it just, it just works. There's a lot of mechanics in the game that I feel like not a lot of people know about, and they're the thing that maybe is the, the designers being cheeky, because it's the information that is, 
insanely valuable and kind of makes and breaks um, whether something is impossible for you or not. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a good thing because it embraces community and videos like this. Um, so yeah, I'll, again, I'll meet you guys back. I'm sorry, I'm bad at this. Anyway. Real quick, look how much money I just made via that. <laughs> you can do this once and you're, you can buy all your gear back and just... Oh, dude. Oh, dude. And again, this, I, I said we'd meet back. I'm, I'm awful. And yeah, as you guys can see, I have a ton of just tiny increments of money saved up, and that's what my people bring back as well. So I try to go for the lowest one possible. That way, again, if I ever do need to uh, buy back a character, I have access to that quite easily. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of like your way of, it's like your bank. <laughs> it holds your money a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to try to grab some shit real quick. Uh, money is usually the best thing to try to grab. Leave souls in there because... They're the thing that people want more than anything is those souls, so be careful. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm down to 48 um, things in my inventory, or my bank safe rewards box, that's it. <laughs> um, now we can jump over to the expeditions one. We'll just go over here. Alright, so this character does not have any weapons. He has some armor, but that should not be too big of a problem. In fact, I kind of like doing that because sometimes um, hunters can be used massively in your favor because usually they're pretty overleveled, but they can still die again if they don't have a weapon in their hands because uh, usually most of them enter in with a heavy punch, which is super easy to dodge, and then you can counter hit. Anyways, not the point. The point is is that sometimes uh, hunters can be used to your advantage, so if, say, if you're having trouble with an area, you can actually run and lure them to other, uh, like, psychos, and they'll just mop them up or weaken your said target. So, that's just a thing that can, you, can, you can do. Anyways, expeditions. Um, we're going to want to shoot for the highest floor possible, because, again, I want to get those slow time mushrooms, and, oh, before we do that, um, let me show you guys how many amazing mushrooms I actually have access to. Uh, these are all the slow time ones. These are some silver mushrooms I got. This guy is basically just me chucking crap that I've gotten into a character. <laughs> um, again, tons of these. These can help you ghost in a boss, so a boss can't really hit you if you activate it before you get into the boss. I have a bunch of these that heal me to an insane degree. I have this because he, he is it's a poison eater build. Anyways, <laughs> um, that's that character. I do believe this character has something like that too. Um, no, he just has random resources. No, he has a few time slow ones there. So I think in total I have like probably 35 slow time um, and around 15 invis mushrooms. A little bit. <laughs> I got a little bit, I'll admit. Uh, and yeah, this is my collector class as well. Tons and tons of these, I think, high-level mushrooms, and all I've done is just use the expedition mechanic. Not being a dick, making sure... I, I don't think I've ever... I think I've won one. Um, expedition. Um, so that's my bad. I'm sorry one person that I accidentally killed, and you went up against a person without any fists, and he was a grade one fighter, so I don't know how that happened. You may have just left the controller and walked away from the game. I don't know. Anyways, regardless, I'll, I've never killed anyone in the revenge cycle, so... Yeah, I'm not a piece of shit. Maybe I am. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, that character has nothing on it because I just made it. And also, this character has quite a little bit, as you guys seen. Anyways, there's more characters, but I don't want to talk to them. But I just want to get this video made because I gotta go do things. Ah, I'm sorry. Anyways, we're gonna go to expeditions. We are going to send them on one-hour intervals. That's it. <laughs> no more, no less. The reason why is because there's no bonus to sending them on longer increments of time. Um, in fact, it's kind of a douche move because what ends up happening is until the person encounters that individual, uh, like your hunter, um, they will stay with them floor to floor. So until you kill the hunter, just basically send them for one hour. Uh, you're not being, it, it lessens you being a douche and griefing. And yeah. Anyways, I'm going to send him on the 25th floor. Again, I don't really care about who it is. If it's a level 20 fighter, we're not trying to kill them. We're just trying to send them to that floor so we can get that high level resources. Um, I shouldn't say resources. It's mushrooms, beasts, um, equipment, and etc. We're not getting materials. By the way, you can send a grade one fighter, like the lowest tier fighter, and he will still bring back a ton of mushrooms. The only thing that changes is if you have a high level lucky star character, which luck is dependent on the amount of uh, kill coins you acquire. When you send them out, they will bring you back more money or more kill coins, which makes sense. That's how that kind of plays into itself. Anyways, we're going to keep sending on that one. Um, I, we better, we're going to not send it on anyone else because she's... I sent two fighters after her, and I don't want to make it seem like I'm gunning for trying to kill her. It's not the case. They have no weapons. I don't know what I'm... Yeah. Oh, but by the way, uh, yeah, the whole revenge tab, this is what you get to see. The people that did get a kill on you. I don't think it's just everyone who's ever sent a hunter after you. It's people who have literally gotten successful... Like, they've successfully killed you. Um, and almost all of them generally tried. So when I do eventually send something after that guy, it's going to be a tank. It's going to be some fucking... I'm like, crazy mother gonna rip his goddamn face off for trying to kill me. I hope he can handle... Why is a level 3 striker on level 25? Is that man insane? How come I keep getting this person to send fighters after? I don't want to grief the person. I just want to get some random thing. She's the highest level there, though. Let's just go level 20. I don't want to be a dick. So, yeah, so all you do is send them out for one hour. 
That's all you do. It's not a lot here. And then you keep doing this. And then um, an hour passes, you come back to the game and get your shit. So yeah, if you don't want to spend like copious amounts of money in the game, I I think generally the way to do it is to get uh, mushrooms. That's like the best way in my opinion. Then again, I'm the guy who hasn't even made it past the 24th floor. Then again, I'm also the guy that's trying to make a let's play, kind of, sort of. And I want to show you guys what it's like when you climb without being overleveled. Because I've been doing that in Let's Play because I played on my time and yeah. Anyways, I'm not sure what I want for this one. I think I want another defender because people keep robbing me. <laughs> just because I, I don't really like to just throw my money away. Uh, and yeah. So we don't get a defender to defend my base. Uh, wow, do we want a woman? We already got a dude defender, so let's get a person. Also, it's a sausage fest in my, my freezer tank or whatever the hell have you. Um... I wish you could hear their voice lines. That'd be really cool. Because some of them sound like crazy, and that sounds... I'm down. <laughs> like, that'd be pretty crazy to hear. Anyways, uh, let's get let's get Dreads. Let's get Dreads in there. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, that's going to go ahead and end it. That is how you get an insane amount of mushrooms, as well as money, kill coins, souls, and etc. Um, I shouldn't just say it's money, um, but let's send this random newbie who has nothing on a on an expedition. Again, you can do this at level one. Uh, the only thing that is going to be your, your catalyst for like, dang it, it's difficult, is something I will show you in, a, in one second. So something you should invest in and something that is going to make this a lot faster is, of course, getting other fighters. Um, now, I can't stress enough how that sounds like, oh god, that sounds pretty, why, man? I want to progress, not sit there and, and do this shit on the back end. Well, it's not that hard, like at all. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, oh damn it, I need to... Yeah, we gotta spend some money in here, because <laughs> I, yeah, that costs more than I my capacity. Anyways, not the point. The point is that you're gonna want to get more uh, fighter freezers, and the thing I like about it is it really feeds into itself a lot of the time. Ah, <laughs> sorry, my voice. Anyways, by that I mean, um, you constantly send these two fighters you have on expeditions, and if you manage it really well and you leave your PS4 on and every hour you come back, boop, done, move on, watch a video, go on YouTube, do whatever, <laughs> play more of the game, doesn't matter. You do that. Um, um, again, this is also something you should work into the cycle of coming down. If it's been an hour, come down, send them out again, go back to the floor you were, and keep that in the cycle. Um, but what this does is it builds up a ton of, uh, uh, what do you call it, those essence points, the soul points, that's the currency to upgrade your stuff, and that should be put back into getting fighters, and as well as a bank space and tank space and etc. Uh, and then also, you also gain a ton of kill coins. And what that does is it makes it so you can basically buy any fighter with, with relative ease, because they're almost like the one grade 4 fighter is... 25,000, and I made that no problem just by grabbing the loot that my old fighters had. It's a, it's a system I think is massively underutilized, um, but also, don't be a dick about it. <laughs> don't, don't be a piece of shit. <laughs> That's a pretty good thing, I think. Um, again, send your fighters with fists. It's kind of like the community's bro dude mentality of it, and I really like that aspect of the community. Um, again, most of the time, I do not get sent people with machetes and shit, because I remember that shit. I remember people who did kill me. I'm going to send some sort of monster after you when I eventually make a character that's really good at killing actual other people um, in the game. Anyways, not the point. The point is, is that that's how you get kill coins and also all the other things, guys. I'm sorry this was so long. I kind of probably rambled, but then again, I don't think that, I think the information is kind of worth it. Maybe <laughs> information maybe is worth it uh, because, again, is this is the way I think you conquer higher level stuff and... Who knows? Maybe it's not. We shall see. Also, what is this blueprint? No, it's on a higher level blueprint, so shit on my life, <laughs> but still. Why didn't you, uh... What, what happened? Was it... Was I full? What, why is this being weird? Oh, okay. It, it said it was nothing, but it's a machete. Alright, what the shit? <laughs> Baby, got my hopes up, damn it. Boop. Alright, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Let me line this up. Anyways. Alright, so I wish you guys the best, um, and again, I think this is... Again, I really hope people spread the word about this, because I, I think it's one of the most underutilized things in the game. Um, I would love it if they made a mobile version of the game where it's essentially just throwing your, your people out and doing things. I, I don't like the fact that it's, it's, it could potentially be griefing. Um, so for instance, you could send uh, a fighter at a level one floor, uh, with a level one player. Like, I think that's really under thought out. <laughs> like the fact that you can send a, a fully maxed out character to completely grief this level one person who's just getting into the game. I think that you can do that. I think I've seen that. Um, I think that's kind of bullshit. I think that's just like... You're giving the people the ability to be an asshole, so of course people are going to be doing that. So I wish there was some sort of like margin that you could only send grade 4 fighters after grade 4 fighters, not like lower tier fighters. Anyways, not the point. The point is, is that hopefully guys that helped. Um, hopefully you guys get all the resources that you need to conquer the next couple levels. Uh, my name is Logan and or Frost will be a subscribe button above me if you so desire, as well as two videos to my right. Thank you so much for your time, and bye guys.